Welcome back. Another interesting topic which we are going to discuss in agriculture form 4 is farm mechanization. Under this topic, uh, we are going to look on the meaning of the term farm mechanization, the definition. Then we are also going to look on types of farm machinery. Uh, we're also going to look on factors to consider when mechanizing a farm. Then we're going to look on the benefits or advantages of farm mechanization of using farm machineries. And also we're also going to look uh, on the limitations of mechanizing a farm. Then we're going to look on maintenance of various farm machineries. Then lastly, we're going to discuss on safety measures when using farm machineries. Now let us start uh, with the definition of the term uh, farm mechanization. If we say farm mechanization, this refers to the use of equipment, imprim implements, and other machines in carrying out agricultural operations. We should know that um, in order for agricultural production to be improved, uh, we need to use these uh, machines. But uh, can be modern machines such as hand tools, animal drone farm implements, tractor drone farm machineries, as well as other devices. And with this growing population, I would, I would like to maximize agricultural production as much as possible. And to maximize agricultural production, it is possible if farm mechanization is put into consideration. So we're going to look onto details uh, how farm mechanization can lead to, can boost agricultural production. We should know that uh, uh, farm machinery can broadly be classified into two. So there are two categories. Uh, we call tractor drone implements as well as human or animal drone implements. So the machines which we use uh, into the farm or machinery, farm machinery which we use into the farm, we can mainly categorize them into two tractor drone implements as well as the human uh, or animal drone implements. If we say tractor drone implements, these are implements attached to a tractor to carry out various operations. So you have an implement, but in order for that implement to work, you need to attach that implement to a tractor. So uh, these tractor drone implements, there are so many of them. For example, we have trailers, we have plows, planters, mowers, cultivators or weeders, harvesting machines, sprayers, so on and so forth. So these are some of the implements which we can use in the farm and attach them uh, to a tractor in order for us to carry out those various operations. So we are going to uh, look a little bit on how those implements, which I've mentioned, more especially tractor drone implements, on how they work. And uh, in case maybe we have never seen one, there are some of the pictures which are uh, we're going to see them uh, so that we should have a look on how those implements look like, but most important, how they work. Let's start with a tractor uh, trailer. A trailer. This small tray is a container which is pulled by the tractor and used 
to carry various farm produce and inputs to and from the farm. So a trailer, we're talking of a container, but in order for that container to be pulled, uh, it will be pulled used by the tractor. So the container, most of the times we're saying it will carry various uh, farm produce. Uh, after you have harvested in the field, you carry those farm produce using this container, the trailer. And also, uh, if you need to have some inputs uh, into the farm, you use the same trailer to carry those inputs uh, to the farm. Then we have a tractor drone plow. We know that uh, these uh, plows uh, should be the farm implements which are used for cultivation purposes. And of course, uh, there are several tractor drone plows, and the good examples are as follows. We have the disc plow. Why are they called the disc plow? Just because they have discs. Uh, which slice the soil sideways. Uh, then we have another example, mood board plow. This one uh, is used in soft soils most of the times and it cuts the soil and turns the slice down, burying the trash completely. Uh, apart from that, we also have a subsoiler. Subsoiler is also there for cultivation purpose uh, and uh, we can also put it under tractor drone plow. This one is the strongest and heaviest machine, and it can dig at the depth of, uh, at the depth of 51 to 93 uh, centimeters deep. So, as you can see on the picture, we have some uh, good examples of uh, uh, some plows. For example, the first one here is the tractor drawn up, uh, implement the plow, the disc plow, which we were mentioning. Then this other one is the mood board plow. So the picture, in case we have never seen a mood board plow, that's how it will look like. Then we have other plow. This is also a disc plow here. This is a disc plow. Uh, then here we also have a chisel plow. Of course, it's another type of a plow. But uh, whatever type of a plow, we know we should know that uh, the these plow are there to till the soil for cultivation purpose. Then we also have a tractor drone region, a tractor drone region or tractor drone regions. And these implements are used for making ridges. And most of the times they uh, can also be used to create channels for irrigation purposes. But the uh, main purpose or use of a uh, tractor drone ridge is to make ridges. But sometimes we can also use to create channels for irrigation purposes. So this is an example of a ridge. This is an example uh, of a region. This is the picture uh, of a region. Then we have harrows. Harrows are used to level the seed bed, and but most of the times they are there to crush the uh, cords and also to stir the soil and destroy weeds. So harrows uh, were saying that they are there to level the seed bed, but the uh, most important uh, function or duty for the harrows is to crush the soil cords. They can also be used to cover trash in the soil, and some common types of harrows are disc harrow. Uh, the disc harrow is the one which will crush the soil clothes. Then we have uh, springtime harrows. They also help to break the soil clothes, but they are also responsible in leveling the seed bed. Then we also have uh, spark tooth harrow. These ones are the ones which are there especially for seed bed leveling. Then the last we have a zigzag harrow. It is there just to stir the soil. 
So those are good examples of uh, tractor drawn harrows, which we may use in the field. Here we are. These are some of the pictures uh, showing uh, 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 some of the harrows. For example, this picture is showing a disc harrow, a disc harrow. So these discs are the ones which will crush uh, the soil cords. If there were some large lumps of the soil, these harrows are there, there to break the soil so that it should be smooth. And here we are, this picture is showing a spleen turn halo, and this one showing a zigzaggy halo. Then the spiky halo. So these are the pictures showing uh, some uh, examples of uh, tractor drawn halos. Yano kufuna kufuna mapunziro, muzaka la watu midwa moyo wanu wansi. Ngati simu punzira, antu wazingo kutumani. Ajalaka lime, ajalaka chue manyasi, ajalaka tende ya nti. Ndipo antu wapunzira wandu watu maso kwa mbili. Ndienga tisimu punzira, skulu wakui kila naba, mukala watu midwa.